Welcome to Scarecrow Gaming. Hello, everybody, and welcome back into Kingdom Come Deliverance. Good God, that is such a delay. I don't know why it does that. Anyway. So, we're here with uh, Captain Barnard. And, um, let me check my stats. Super quick here. I have nothing... All right, so we're just going to talk to him about a, a couple things. Training. I'd like to learn combos. We're going to learn training and master strikes. There we go. strikes you can learn that will ensure you win every duel. Sure there are. Work those techniques into your combat. Force your opponent into a position you want him in. And then attack unexpectedly. Holy. Yeah, ow. I strike from overhead. Then slash from the side. And back swing low down. So you expect me to strike from below. But then I turn the sword and strike you with the other side. Once more. Defend. I can't. Now, you try it. Strike from above, then from the right, then slash. The strikes have to follow quickly, one after the other. As soon as one lands, you start the next. You have to keep exactly to the sequence, otherwise it won't come off. Slash from above, slash from the right. Right, slash, slash from, from below. Go. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Good. There we go. Nice. No, no, no. Whoops. You have to strike me three times. Three times. No, no, no. You have to strike I got me it. Three times. Three times. Whoops. Try to catch the rhythm. As soon as one blow lands, change the target zone and strike again. Right away. Try to catch Shit. the rhythm. As soon as one blow lands, change the target zone and strike again. Right away. Don't stop. There we go. Try to catch the rhythm. One blow land. Change the target zone and strike again. Right away. Don't stop. That's it. All right, there it is. You can learn lots of similar techniques with every weapon. Train and practice. All right, and so then we're just going to do the one on master strikes. I think I've mastered the basics of combat. Could you teach me something a bit more advanced? I see. And what weapon are you such a master at? I'm pretty good with a sword. You're a bit cocky, ain't you? All right, then, let's see what you can do. If you're as good as you think you are, I'll teach you some master strikes. I'm ready. All right, so. Stand there, take your weapon, and fight. Yes. You look like you know what you're doing. I'll teach you a trick or two. Actually, I want to write that one down super fast. I'm writing down all of the uh, combos. So what was that last one? It was up from the right. And then down from below. All right. Let's see if it actually works. All right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Boom. There we go. Now let's try that wrath strike. That one don't work. I think we're using long swords. All right. Yeah, we are. Bad. All right, 
Seems you're ready for the next lesson. Now, pay close attention. I'll teach you the most important thing. It's good to be able to attack. It's good to be able to fend off your opponent's blows. The best is when you're able to do both at once. A master stroke is when you parry your opponent's blow and strike him at the same time. Attack me, and I'll show you how it's done. Yeah. See, that's what he's been doing to me whenever I try to uh, train with him. See? I parry and strike in one move. There's no defense against this technique if it's executed well. The thing is to time it right. Block right into your opponent's strike and match your movement to his. One elegant technique and the fight is won. Try it. I'll attack slowly. <laughs> you parry. Very good. Well done. <clears throat> ah, that's it. Boom. So that we've learned uh, master striking, and we've learned um, uh, how to uh, chain strikes. I'd like to train a bit, just lightly, with practice weapons. Right. Let's get to it. What weapon would you like to try? You got a bastard sword, a short sword, we can fight with poles, whatever you fancy. Let's go with the... Let's go with the long sword. I still don't feel entirely competent with the bastard sword. I'd like to try that. Right, lad. Grab your piece and we'll get stuck, stuck in. in. All right. See, he, he can do that way better than I can. I'm gonna try the uh, scar maker on him. But oh, God, he can counter just about every freaking thing I throw at him. Now you're done for. Good about this. <laughs> Damn it, I almost had that one. Take a moment here, catch our breath. Boom! Ha ha ha! All right. Uh, 
Ah. I can't seem to get that scar maker. Not hard. Mm. Quit dancing around me, bro. That's what I'm about to say. Ah, I wanted to, really wanted to uh, cut him off. Ooh. 
Mother. I really wanted to get that scar maker down. Doink. There we go. Are you? Stop attacking from the angle that I don't want you to attack from. Boom! There we go. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the Scar Maker. Call that combat. Alright. Alright, so I think that training went rather well. Alright, so let's see, what have I been using? Uh, it's a short sword, actually. There is a long sword that I would like to get my hands on. Let's see. Player, stats, strength. Uh, tight grip. Head cracker, heavy swing, excuse me, let's go with head cracker, and for combat, weapon cruncher, let's go with golem. See the blunt strike, the double stab, the blinding strike, scar maker. That's a long sword. I think that can be done with both the the one that they uh, taught us. I think that can be done with uh, both the long and the uh, short. Short. Oops.
doubling. This one is, for some reason, it's a hard one to get down. Uh, no, that's the false edge. That's a long sword technique. So let's grab us another. Um, so we've got two long swords. Let's give us. Let's give us the blinding strike. And then of course, you know, there's also various. Um, short, short. No, that's a long sword. I'm making little notes here. Right. Blinding strike. Ah, I like the move less from uh, Mortal uh, Kombat. Whoops. All right, guys, so I'm going to leave it right there. I know this was a uh, short one, but, you know, it was just some training. And before I go too deep, I have to, you know, do a lot of fighting. I figured I'd probably get in some time with Captain Bernard. Um, we'll go to this uh, next village and do the investigation with uh, Limpy Lubosh tomorrow. Uh, and so I wanted to do this now so that way I didn't have to cut it, put it into that next video. So, and I believe that is going to require some more combat. Plus also there's some tournaments and whatnot that we can get involved in. So... Yeah, and then after that, after I finish that quest, um, we're uh, going to uh, go ahead and go looking for the... Um, <clears throat> uh, for the legendary war horse armor. So, thanks everybody for watching. I'll catch you all in the next one.